Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So you like to see your Canva pages. Uh, you like to see Canva pages next to each other. Unfortunately, Canva doesn't have this button for that just yet, but there are a couple of tricks we can try, guys. And we're gonna use the grid, but before showing you that, this trick, I'm gonna go here in templates. I'm gonna add a template. So let's look for a template. I'm gonna add this template, let's say. So I have this template here. Also, I can go here and go to resize magic and turn this into a YouTube thumbnail. And now I'm just gonna wait a second and click on resize this design. And now I can go to this design and add, let's say, this one. And now I can, let's say, add another page here and add this one and this one and this one. I'm just adding some random pages so I can show you how you can see each uh, you can see you can uh, see you can sorry you can view two pages side by side in canva so what we're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to look for the grid view is located right over here so click on this little box with squares in the corners and it will show you tiny ver uh, versions of all your pages as you can see we can click on here to click and preview everything now if it's a video you can download this if you want to as you can see here it's set to be a video but you know you can make this not in a maybe a standard pdf so now now another way uh, you can also zoom in so control and then the, the the middle mouse the wheel on your mouse you can zoom in or you can also click on here now here i can zoom in i can click on this so i can zoom in and also hold control and middle mouse now i can drag from this side and now i have two as you can see you can you can uh, now fit two pages uh, to each other now we have two pages actually and now another idea here another thing that we could do here is to custom click on custom size let's say let's use this size which is not the size i want but my idea behind the strategy is to create something that's way wider where it's the size it's much bigger than it needs to be it's super extra wide wide enough to fit uh two pages that i need to work side by side but then you can design work on each design side by side now this doesn't work the best i'm not saying it's the best idea out there but you see like let's say i have this shape and the resolution of this shape when it, i need to work on this shape which i go right now here in position and let's say this is one uh, um, 120 by 180 let's say i don't know and you have one here i'm gonna hold shift and now i have another you have another one here you work side by side now you know i changed the resolution you can even create a page that's way larger than uh, it's way wider than the one i set it's extra wide extra wide and you then you have space to work on a design that you want and, and it's side, side by side and now you might say how i'm gonna have to actually you know export this so you can export this let's say you add another page and let's say you finish this first design 
now it's good it has the resolution you compare both it looked great now you can go to resize here and resize to the resolution that you want you can click here custom size but you need to have the canva pro in order for this to work and now let's say for my project uh, it's this resolution with this inch or centimeter or pixel and you enter here the pixel and then you click on continue and this is now going to help you to or you can click on here resize this design or copy and res copy and resize it's going to resize this project and um, you can uh, you can export that uh, you can export that design in that in that new resolution that you need for your project and make sure when you redesign this you can also increase the resolution a little bit well anyways you're gonna like you know resize it in the resolution that you want when you click on here but that's my idea i hope you found this helpful to work side by side just remember i think that's the best idea i mean that's uh, the best idea i came up with to work with this side by side so just create a very wide page extra extra wide and then you can move to projects that you need to work on side by side you can use the base kind of uh, these shapes you can grab some shapes uh, if this uh, is annoying to you another thing that you can do set this transparent and then decrease this border and then um, decrease the transparency and then you right click and you lock you just you just you you, you just know that this is the frame you work in and this is your um, your side by side Canva kind of guide hold alt and then drag sorry uh, and drag and now actually i don't uh resize a little bit more and now you need to work on this you can bolt of this group Control g and then you can um you can lock so it's not bothering you but you know actually this is the resolution that you work on this is the layers this page and or these are the two pages and that's how i worked and worked okay uh, to this to help you can also go not here sorry i go here to file and settings and enable i add guides or show margins uh, show margins and of course uh, add guides for rules as well and uh, show guide add guides and uh, this way this can help you when you want to snap and uh, sorry i forgot to mention it's good to set this by the uh, this uh, what it's called sorry in english uh, by the the, sh the rules and and the, uh, by the margin sorry and this is going to help now hold shift when you want to snap or make sure you zoom in and you are careful when you design this so you can add t for text some text here and there yeah, you look then side by side so i hope you found this helpful i'm sorry it's not the best idea but i don't have something else to share with you I thought by creating this, even if it's not the best idea, at least it's gonna help you somehow. Uh, what's the English word? It's going to. It's like a workaround that's not perfect, but it's going to um, help you get things done because at least you can look at the other side. This is what I'm working on. And also, what I'm working on, I don't need. I need to hold control and use the middle button, middle wheel to zoom out to see the both design. And so I'm clicking on this. Also use the shortcut control and this one here. So control and this one here, it's shortcut, very good shortcut. Now I can have this in the middle uh, with a good screen and I can see exactly what I'm working on. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.